right, and welcome back. Uh, this is Raul. Last time we looked at some of the uses of the A131 VCA and how you can use it to process CV to change the amplitude of the control voltage signals going into uh, the inputs and then using another control voltage to dynamically adjust the volume up and down of that control voltage being fed to whatever you have it patched to. So in the last example, we did pulse width and pitch. This time around, we're going to look at a slightly different use for this module, um, and that's something called amplitude modulation. Uh, now, in amplitude modulation, uh, we're going to basically have an oscillator going into a VCA. And uh, if you remember back to the tremolo example, we had it uh, being adjusted in the CV1 by a low frequency signal. Uh, but amplitude modulation happens in the audio rate. Uh, we haven't seen that yet. So let's uh, go ahead and jump right in and hear what that sounds like. So we're going to hear our dry signal first. Uh, we're going to do a saw wave. And we're going to patch it into audio in right here. There we go. And then we're going to patch that out to our mixer. There we go. And we don't hear anything, again, because the gain's all the way down. Not surprising. And then we're going to patch a low-frequency oscillator into our VCA. And we should hear a little bit of movement, because uh, we're, what we're going to hear is basic tremolo. So there's our basic tremolo. Okay, so that's basic tremolo. I'm going to actually bring the frequency up a little bit. Okay, so it's adjusting the volume of our VCO. And now we're going to hear amplitude modulation. So I'm going to do that very easily with this LFO by flipping it into the high range, which is the audio rate, and we'll hear what that sounds like. So here we go. So there we have amplitude modulation. I can adjust the frequency. It's a very kind of harsh, abrasive sound. It's creating a numerous number of sidebands. And that's with the sine wave right there. So let's try a different uh, different waveform. So we're doing sine wave, I'm gonna unpatch it, and then let's try a saw wave. There we go. Let me also adjust the octave. So there is our basic amplitude modulation sound coming from saw wave over here. You can adjust the frequency down, get slightly different flavor, I'll bring it up. Until I find something that I like. There we go. Okay, so we did the sine. We also did the saw. Now let's try the inverted saw. There we go. Uh, now let's unpatch the inverted saw and we'll jump over to, let's see, triangle. We haven't done that one yet. Bring the frequency up a little bit. Sounds a little bit crackly. Okay, so now that we have that basic uh, sort of AM patch going. Uh, let's spice it up a little bit. Let's uh, maybe take a low frequency oscillator, let's do a sine wave, and then patch it into the pitch of our oscillator to sort of vary that a little bit. It's a nice 
nice little sound right there. So let's experiment and uh, bring up the level of our pitch modulation. So that's AM sound, uh, amplitude modulation sound. Also being modulated in pitch in our VCO. There we go. Okay. So I think you got the idea of those two. Uh, let's try a saw way. Sounds a little bit more like a laser gun blast or something. At this point, I can adjust it if I want to by bringing down the frequency of my amplitude modulation signal. Until I find something that I like. Now we can step up the modulation a little bit more uh, by taking another waveform. Let's do, let's try a s s square wave right there. I'm going to audio in two. So I like the sound of that a little bit more because I'm getting more volume for one. But now I can really tweak and get more extreme changes. Pretty exciting sounds happening right now. Now with my basic AM patch set up here now, um, if I wanted to, I could sort of tweak it in a few different places I could you know, adjust the levels of the waveforms going into here. So I get something that I like a little bit more. I could adjust the octave of my VCO. I could adjust the frequency of my LFO, which is controlling the pitch of my VCO. Back to the center octave. Or I could even add another level of modulation since I am using a square wave going out right there. I could take my low frequency sine and feed that into the modulation of the CV or the modulation of the pulse width. Or I could manually adjust it. I'm not really happy with that sound right there. Let me unpatch that. And that's just so we get an idea of what the different parameters in here do. It's 
sort of like that. And go a little higher. Getting pretty close to the sound I like. Bring the frequency down a little bit. Okay, I am very happy with that sound right there. So at this point now, I can take the output from my VCA right here from my mixer, unpatch it, and let's say I want to add another level of uh, amplitude uh, or tremolo to that. I can uh, patch it into audio in of my low pass gate, which is acting as a VCA as well. So this is where I can use a second VCA in the mix. If I had another one of these, I could use that for it. But I'm going to use my low pass gate because it can actually do uh, both. It can act as a filter or it can act as a VCA. So then I can take my audio out, patch it into there. And then, of course, we have no signal because let's see, the frequency of my gate is maybe not where it should, or amplitude, I should say. Maybe bring up the level a little bit. And then maybe get an LFO kind of signal going in there as well. Might help a little bit. So I'm going to take a sine wave and then patch it into CV1. There we go. Ah, didn't have it patched all the way. There we go. There we go. So now I have yet another flavor of that same kind of sound. And it comes in and goes out. Of course, now my one LFO is going to adjust not only my uh, my pitch modulation going in over here, but it's also going to affect my my VCA at the end of my signal chain. So if I bring it up. Get a little bit of both. So that is a demonstration of amplitude modulation using the exponential VCA. And then of course we brought in our friend the A101-2 low pass gate over here at the end of the signal chain just to bring up the amplitude a little bit and get a tremolo going mixed in with our modulated sound. So now we have tons of places where we can slightly tweak this, the quality of the sound. And we can adjust the how much of the original waveforms are going into our VCA. Bring up the frequency of our LFO to speed up the tremolo. And also affect our internal signal going over here into our pitch CV. So a lot of fun to be had here with these modules and with the VCA. So hopefully this time around it kind of opened your eyes a little bit to uh, amplitude modulation. If it was something maybe you hadn't done up until this point or had heard about the technique but never really seen it in place or maybe just didn't have the, the modules here or weren't sure about how to patch it. Let me switch the octave. So that's going to actually wrap up this 
third and final demo of the VCA. So I hope that you found this useful to an extent. Um, and I hope that you join us on our next section. I'm not really sure what direction we're going in as happens. Um, but whatever it is, I will try to make it as interesting as possible.